Hey, y'all. Welcome to the Life After Her podcast with yours truly, Nicole and Sweeney. Today's episode is about the steps I took to my healing journey. As you all know, Life After Her is my personal mantra, and it means so many different things to me. And part of the meeting is my personal healing journey. So I want to share with you some of the things that I had done in order to begin my healing process. The first step I actually took was just acknowledging how I was feeling. I think it is very, very important for us to acknowledge where we are and what actually caused us to have certain feelings. I think when we are going through different experience in life, whether it's traumatic or sad or something that you've never dealt with in life before, it leaves you with some very eerie feelings, feelings that sometimes you can't even explain in the moment. And so what I did was I had to constantly do a self-assessment and get to know myself and understand why I was having these certain feelings and identifying what those feelings were, right? Because that I think is as equally important. You want to acknowledge and figure out, pinpoint where this hurt came from and what feeling you had when you are thinking about these experiences. Because if you don't start off by acknowledging it, you'll never really get to a true place of healing and you want to heal. The second step I took was once I did acknowledge it, I actually just started writing. Writing has become a best friend of mine. I never knew that writing could be a source of healing, a source of expression, a source of feeling better. And the very first time actually I started writing or journaling was when my mom passed away. And I had this journal for a couple of years. I just never had written in it. And so one day I was sitting at my dresser, actually, it was a a short dresser and I pulled a chair to my dresser and I was actually doing some of my homework when I was in college. And I was just overcome by feelings. I didn't know what to say. I didn't know what to do. So I just started writing. One of the cool things about writing is that it doesn't have to be organized when you're expressing your feelings. You don't have to have structure to it. All you have to do is write. And so I would write and write and write. I did not judge what I wrote, whatever came up for me. I just wrote about it. And I found that after I wrote about how I felt, it made me feel better. And I still do that to this day. I have tons and tons of journals that have things that went on during the day, things I was feeling, my prayers to God, asking God for things. And I think one of the coolest things about journaling is that after you know some time has passed, you can always go back and read your journals and look at how God has kept you and how you were able to get through those tough moments because life experiences can be really rough. And so journaling is one way to healing. For those of you who may not be into writing or writing is just isn't your thing, that's totally okay. We actually live in a society where technology is one of the best things on earth And what I would encourage you for those of you who do not like writing, maybe you can just talk out your feelings. I know on the app phone, there's an, I'm sorry, on the Apple phone, there is an app that is called Voice Memo and you can record sound. It's an audio recording and you can hit the button and just start sharing some of the things that you are feeling in that moment, things that might come up. And it always does not have to be anything negative. It can be something positive, but it's a form, uh, a method to get what you're feeling on the inside 
out. Okay. So I totally recommend that for those of you who are not into writing. The third step I took in my personal healing journey is that I went to a therapist. <laughs> and I know some of you guys are probably looking at me like, this lady is crazy. But society and culture would have you think that you are actually crazy for going to talk to someone and for seeing a therapist. And that is totally not the case. I think therapy probably was one of the best decisions I could have made in my entire life. And a reason why I say that is because it allowed me to speak to someone from an objective viewpoint, someone who didn't know about my situation ever in life, who did not know my background or some of the things that I had experienced and was able to just give me sound and impartial advice. And so that is something I would highly recommend for those of you who want to begin your healing journey. And it's very important that you go into it with a non-judgmental um, mindset of yourself or even, you know, the person that would be counseling you because you want to get the most of your experience. I'm currently still, you know, speaking with a, a therapist and a counselor to just help me process some of the things because sometimes we can be very much in our heads and we need someone to bounce some of the things that we've gone, gone have gone through off of. Okay. And the fourth step is actually just repeating one, two, and three. I've learned that the healing journey is not a one-time thing. It's an ongoing process because unfortunately, as long as we're human, as long as we are living on this earth, we will experience some type of hurt. And so I know for me personally that I wanted to, I want to continue my healing journey. And so I'm constantly in a cycle of acknowledging the experience and identifying my feelings. I'm always writing things out. I even write some of my thoughts out before I actually have my counseling session with my therapist so that I don't forget and that I am able to just truly express how I'm feeling about a certain situation. And then, of course, I'm constantly scheduling appointments with my therapist. And so, you guys, I know this journey can be very difficult. Even starting off a healing journey is it's challenging. It's different because we are sometimes taught to just sit in the pain or sweep it under the rug or act like as if it never happened. And that is not a true form of healing. And ultimately, I hope that you will want to become the best version of yourself for you and for generations to come. And for everyone that is around you, you want to heal for that as well. And so I hope these tips were helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me about my own personal journey. Um, I am willing to share, but it's very, very important that we begin to heal and become whole and the best version of ourselves. So I look forward to you guys tuning in to the next episode, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And remember that God is proud of you.